welcome back everyone. We have a very special video this week. We worked up a little animation to show you how we do our basement digouts. And hopefully this will answer a lot of the questions you guys have, as well as give you a very good visualization of how these are done without all the clutter in an active workspace. So let's get right into this. First things first, we're gonna locate an access area where we can store and keep all of our equipment. And on this house, it's gonna be right on the side here. We're gonna set up our temporary fencing to keep anyone out and keep all of our stuff protected. From here, we're gonna hand dig an access point and saw cut into the basement or existing crawl space. And once that is done, we're gonna make our way inside. These beams are removed for visualization purposes, but we're gonna dig our standing room. We're gonna expand it to a staging area and we're gonna dig access paths. These are very crucial. And then we're gonna expand these access paths where we're gonna erect our temporary support beams in crucial locations so it supports the weight of the house. From there, we dig out the rest of the basement and in comes the footer work. So we're only gonna show one footer here. Pretty simple, we dig a footer hole, place the rebar, we're gonna pour the footer slab, then we're gonna pour the footer wall once we place the footer forms, that is. Once that is done, we're gonna remove those forms and we have a finished footer. Once that's done, we're gonna grade the floor and remove any excess dirt, and we're gonna wreck the rest of the footers and walls. It's very important to note that we do this in a sequence, A's first, then B's. That way we can keep some structural integrity. Now, while this is occurring on the outside of the job, we have a team with a skid steer. It might be one, maybe two guys. They're gonna take this dirt, and they're gonna take it to a truck, trailer, dumpster, whatever it may be outside, and they're gonna offload it so we can get the dirt out of the job site. This process is repeated for the duration of the job until all the dirt has been removed. Also, let us know what you think about this animation in the comments below. We'd love to make more and we'd love to hear from you guys to see what kind of concepts you'd like to see visualized. Now for the fun part, the finishing of the basement. First things first is our perimeter drain. We're gonna add this and the sump pit. You can see it here. And then we're gonna recover this up. And then once that's done, some vapor barrier is going to be applied. This is going to keep all the moisture from entering from the bottom of the basement. Expansion joint is then added to reduce cracking from the expanding concrete. We then put block outs over the temporary pillars so they don't get formed into the concrete. From here, rebar is added to bring strength to the concrete. However, in our videos, we use a special mix that has microfibers that adds the same strength as rebar. After this, concrete is then poured to form the slab. Once it's cured, we go ahead and take these block outs out. And from here, we're gonna remove the post, add some vapor barrier where it's missing underneath the existing pillars, and then put in our final posts. And then we're gonna repeat this process for the rest of the posts. And then keep in mind, some of these don't need to go back in because they're not crucial to supporting the upper house. From here, we're gonna saw cut windows as an opening. The window wells are then added after. And this is a finished basement dig out. Hopefully this visualization was helpful and you were able to learn from this. We'd love to do more in the future, so let us know in the comments below if you enjoyed this. As always, thank you for watching.